Hot dogs are great for cookout, but not if you're talking about your pets. Here with facts to help you keep your dogs cool this summer, our resident veterinarian, early show correspondent, Dr. Debbie Turnerbell. Good morning. Good morning to you. So I have a quiz. I, I have Lots a quiz. Are you ready? All right. Are you going to give me the quiz? I'm going to give you the quiz. Okay. All right. You I'm want me to say the statement? The first Fire statement away. is, dogs tolerate heat better than people because they pant so much. Is that fact so. or fiction? I don't think so. No, you're absolutely right. That's fiction. They pant so much because they do not not have sweat glands over their bodies, right. and it's their only efficient way of getting only rid of heat. Only able to respirate, right? Yes, yeah, that's right. that yeah, is exactly person. right. Yeah. So they succumb to the heat much faster than okay. than we do. So All that's right. why this segment is so important. Okay. Here's good. the next one. You ready? Mm -hmm. Dogs with flat faces mm -hmm. are especially susceptible to the heat. I'm gonna get. You know, we talked about the different shapes of animals' faces yes. the other day. Yes. We know they don't breathe as well, so. I'm guessing probably that's probably true. That is, that is fact. And we have here some examples. We have two English bulldogs and one French bulldog in the middle. Yeah. That's Rosie, Pepe, and Louie. Mm -hmm. And because of their structure, they're less efficient breathers, as you already know, right, right. which makes them less efficient at getting rid of heat. Sure. So their only way to do it through panting uh -huh. is impaired because of their morphology, because wow. of their structure. Right. So these dogs you especially need to keep in the air conditioning and keep out of the heat. Wow, smart. Yeah. Uh -huh. Also, yeah. young dogs, we have puppies right here behind you, by the way, are from the Liberty Humane Society in yep. Jersey City. Yep. They do need homes for our New, for yep. our New York viewers. But puppies are more, more susceptible, susceptible to the too. heat because they haven't perfected thermoregulation yet. Ah. Older dogs are more susceptible. Right. Sick dogs are more susceptible. And guess what? Obese animals are more susceptible to the heat. All makes sense. All right, All give me sense. another question. Okay, here we go. Pets are okay in the car for 15 minutes or less. Is, are you crazy? Uh, yeah. No way. No way is yeah. absolutely right. Because the temperature goes up in a car like in two seconds. Seconds in the summer. The Humane time. Society determined that the temperature can go up as much as 30 degrees per minute. Right. So it, after 10 minutes, it goes up to like 102 degrees. By 30 minutes, it's 130 degrees. You're cooking your animal. You would no more put a kid or a pet in a, in a car. Never, in the summertime. ever, ever. In fact, yeah. if you think you're going to leave them in there, leave them at home in the air conditioning. All right, good. Shall we move on? Yes, please. All right. Shaving fluffy, furry pets can help keep them cool. I would think so. That's what most people say, but no, actually, we have a big, furry, uh, fuzzy pet here. This right. is a great Pyrenees, uh -huh. and their fur acts as a natural sunscreen. How about because that? Because their skin is sensitive to the sun and can be sunburned. Right. So you should not shave them down. But that's for sunburn versus whether or not the dog is going to be cool. Is the dog Now, if you're not going to have the dog out in the sun, if you shave them down, could he at least be cooler? Well, you can shave them down if they're not going to be out in the sun, but I don't recommend it yeah. because they have they have this this fur for a reason. Okay. What's most important is to keep them inside in the air conditioning. Uh, this is what I like to say: if you're hot, your dog is hot. Yeah. Big and time. if you're uncomfortable, the dog is uncomfortable. So a big <laughs> dog like this, yep. you want to keep them inside. Yeah. Don't shave them. All down. right. All right. Give me another one. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I want to thank, by the way, Maxwell for coming. Applying sunscreen on a dog is a waste of time. I think now, I know what you're going to say. No, I don't know because, you know, you just said the dog has the natural, uh, you know, whatever barriers to the sun with its fur. Uh-huh. So I'm going to guess that ought to do it. Should you put sunscreen on a dog? It is I don't not know. a waste of time. We have it's a little not? sunscreen right over here, formulated especially for dogs. Let me, yeah, yeah that, right, that right there. Because, of course, they lick their body, so you want to get one that's formulated for them, so if they lick it off, it's not toxic oh, yeah, to them. yeah, smart. But for the areas that are exposed to the sun, like the tip of the nose, the yeah, tip of their ears, makes sense. and their groin. Because I've seen dogs with sunborn noses. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you put a little sunscreen on that protects all right, them. All right, give me another one. Shall we keep going? I like this. All right. Some other way. Let's see. Uh, where's my next one? <laughs> Profuse salivation yes. is a sign of dog having trouble with the heat. That's when they're really just dripping from the jowls, yes. right? Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm going to guess it doesn't matter. It does matter. Okay. That is a sign of heat exhaustion. Wow. I want to give you a few signs of heat exhaustion. Okay. okay. Panting, profuse salivation. Right. Uh, if they... Um, oh, this would be in a dog that doesn't salivate normally. Right. Like, because well, we had the dogs the other day that were like more than they normally do. The they got these long right. tracks coming down. Oh, then you know for sure. All yes, right. yes. Right. The dry dry gums. Okay. All right. If they're, if they're lethargic or weak, yeah. um, then they're succumbing to the heat. Or if they seem confused or disoriented, uh -huh. this, this tells you your your pet is overheating right. you need to cool them down right away which leads okay. me to my next one do we have if time you spray, if you spray go ahead okay um, if you uh, spray water on it can you spray water cold water on a dog and will it cool that's down? it if your dog overheats should yeah. you douse them with ice cold water probably not 
No. Because it's a shock. It's going to cause, actually, it's going to cause their blood vessels to vasoconstrict, get smaller. Right. Makes it harder for them to get rid of the heat. So you can put cool water on them. First thing you need to do is get them out of the sun, get them out of the heat, put right. them in a cool place. Sure. And then you can pack their neck and their groin yeah. with some ice. That's okay. okay. Yeah. All right. You know, the graphic that you had up before with all the confusing and the dripping and the jowls and yeah. all that stuff, uh, that's, uh, I feel like that a lot of days. You feel like that a lot? Yeah, do yeah. we need to pack some ice around your neck? Maybe. All right. Dr. Debbie Turner Bell, that's thank it. you so much. All right. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.